What's going on everyone? Brand here from Bloody Breakdown and today we've got another big Scream 5 aka Scream 2022 update. But before we get into it, remember guys if you enjoyed today's video leave me a like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications if you really dig what I'm doing here at Bloody Breakdown and if you really really like what I'm doing here consider becoming a member by clicking join. So enough shilling, let's go ahead and jump right into this because like I said it is a pretty uh, another pretty big Scream update. So, first and foremost, to kind of preface a lot of this, uh, we've been given the hashtag 12 Screams for the Holidays, and we we saw this. A couple of uh, savvy Twitter users discovered this hashtag before we really found out what it was all about today. And in essence, we're going to be getting something uh, cool, I guess, about the Scream films dropping every day for the next 12 days. Uh, today we got the official release of the final Scream poster. We're going to be talking about that in just one moment. But there was another thing, um, and I want to refer to Bloody Disgusting and their article they did on this, uh, talking about the 12 Screams uh, for the holidays. Um, so to kind of explain this, if you're not in the loop, if you're not in the know here, uh, Bloody Disgusting says, This weekend a postcard came in the mail uh, from the Woodsboro Horror Film Club uh, and a featured QR code that leads to the handle of a TikTok account, uh, which you can check out at 2 Brash Sarah. So apparently this account is the start of an in-world uh, alternate reality game, an ARG. Uh, that, uh, according to Bloody Disgusting, will continue a parallel storyline. Um, so you follow along to see the stories unfold, get more insight, check out the postcard images below. Um, I, I may uh, put a, put an image in there uh, here in the video so you can all see what I'm talking about. Um, but essentially, when you go to this channel, when you go to this uh, TikTok account, uh, it, it's exactly that. It's kind of these characters that are living in Woodsboro that are fans of the Stab films, not the Scream films. So you kind of see what we're going with. Now, when they did that, uh, one of the newest TikToks that they released today kind of confirms the death of Stu Mocker. Not only does it confirm the death of Stu Mocker, uh, because I know that's a big talking point right now, and it has been for several months in the Scream community, but it confirms pretty much the death of every single ghost face killer. Billy Loomis is mentioned, Stu Mocker, Mickey Altieri. Uh, they even call Mrs. Loomis Debbie Loomis, which is interesting because I know a lot of us Scream fans were really wondering what her first name is. Now, I'm assuming that's canon at this point, but I, I can't say for certain. I know her name was Nancy in the script, kind of an homage to Halloween. Um, but you know, like I said, they 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 go on to, they mention Roman Bridger, they mention uh, Jill, uh, Roberts, they mention uh, Charlie Walker, and they say that all of these characters are dead. In this universe that they live in, in the Scream universe, these characters are considered dead. Now, could this be that they are trying to throw us off? Sure. Now, let me go ahead and say really quickly, I'm not one of these, uh, I'm not one of the Stu's Alive people. I'm not even really a Kirby is Alive person, even though I, that one probably holds a little bit more water. Um, but I do think it's interesting that they kind of went out of their way in this TikTok to kind of ensure that all the former uh, killers who have donned this ghost face costume are in fact dead. So, you know, I say Stu confirmed dead with a question mark, you know, Stu confirmed dead? But I think that, uh, at least for me, this is kind of confirmation that there's probably not any type of plan to bring any former killers back into the mix in this one. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier I was going to get into the poster, and I'll do that now because I'll go ahead and tell you what an incredible poster they put together here. I am getting some serious People Under the Stairs vibe from this, which is really cool. Another throwback uh, tribute to Wes Craven, at least I think so. Um, if you look and compare the two posters, there it's a stunning similarity. Also, they have done something they've never really done in the past, which is they've put the majority of the cast on the poster. Usually you'll get five people at most on that poster. And uh, a lot of times, the characters you get are characters that end up not really playing a big role in the film uh, for whatever reason. 
But I think they've done a good job on this one for putting pretty much all the characters that at least we've seen in the trailers or the TV spots or have heard of uh, throughout casting and filming, with the exception of Vince. Once again, Vince Schneider, um, as I like to uh, remind everyone who... <laughs> we, we looked for so long for this guy's last name. We really hoped something was going to be uh, you know big in it, but at least at this point, it looks like that's not the case. Uh, but Vince is not present on the poster once again, and I say once again because every cast member got a, their own individual ghost face poster except for Vince. Um, and uh, now it looks like he's been left off of the poster, uh, the final movie poster. And I got to tell you, that to me screams one of two things. Number one, he is going to be a very early death and a somewhat inconsequential character, perhaps. Or number two, they're keeping him out of our eyesight for a reason. Now, like I said, I, I've used this word in every Scream video I've made since the trailer, the original trailer drop, but misdirection. And that could be what's going on here. There's really only one way to find out, and we're going to find out one month. In exactly one month, people. Are you getting excited as I am? Uh, also, I noticed how small Judy Hicks is in the poster. Uh, there's a very um, mirrored image for, for this poster, if you look at it. You'll notice that um, Judy kind of stands out as being the only character that isn't symmetrical with another character uh, in some shape, way, form, or fashion in this poster. And the fact that she's very small in this poster, that could also be an indication that Judy Hicks may not be uh, having a huge role in this movie. She could be an early death. She could have a reduced role from Scream 4. Um, but I will say this, there, there are many things you can look at in this poster and draw from. However, those are the two things that I came up with. Well, three if you include the uh, People Under the Stairs reference. Those are the things I see right off the bat when I immediately take a look at this thing. But I gotta tell you, it's an amazing poster. They did a fantastic job with this thing, and it may actually be one of, if not my favorite poster in the entire Scream franchise, so bravo to those guys on that. Now there's one more small thing I wanted to mention before we depart from one another today, and that is Scream 2022, Scream 5, Scream, whatever you want to call it, officially has a uh, official runtime, and that official runtime is clocking in at 1 hour and 54 minutes, which is pretty much on par with the rest of the Scream franchise. Uh, these movies do tend to run about two hours, a little less typically. Um, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for that because there's really gonna be a lot to unpack in this movie. Um, this, this kind of sequel, which I've referred to as a legacy sequel, um, you really do have to... Uh, I mean, not in the same vein that a lot of these legacy sequels do where they kind of scrap everything that came before and just acknowledge the first film going into this one. I don't think that's what we're doing with Scream, obviously, since we have Judy Hicks and, uh, you know, Sydney saying she's been through this a lot. Um, and just the other things that have been mentioned through their various uh, campaign to promote this film, especially on that TikTok where they mention every single past Ghostface. Uh, but an hour and 54 minutes I think is respectable. Um, I was really hoping that it would be close to that two hour mark like it is because they got a lot of unpacking to do. They got to catch us up with the OG3. They've got to introduce these new characters. Um, and there's just a lot to get done. So I was hoping it would be around the time that it is. Honestly, I would be fine with it being a little longer, uh, to be quite frank with you all. Uh, but there's a lot to do in this movie, a lot to unpack, and I don't want it to feel rushed. I really want there to be a good story behind this. I want there to be a good mystery behind this. And I want this uh, new film to be able to be something to launch a new trilogy, uh, to give this franchise uh, legs. And it's, you know, it's been a long time since it has honestly had those legs. Um, it, you know, and, and I'll just say this at the end of this video. I am one of those people who months ago was getting concerned about the marketing behind this new Scream film. Uh, for the simple fact that we were getting so close and really nothing had been given to us yet. Now, granted, all that has changed. My tone included has changed uh, because I think they're doing a fantastic job, mm, mwah, chef's kiss, of marketing this film now. And after the awful marketing behind Scream 4 and the, the box office that came as a result of that horrible marketing, 
Um, I'm really glad to see what they're doing this time around, and I'm really excited to see what's going to be happening. One month, people. One month, Scream fans. We are going to be sitting in the theater watching something we have waited over a decade for. So, once again, if you're a fan of these uh, of these Scream films, if you want to see more of them, I suggest you grab up your, your friends, your, your significant other, your your cousins, your uncles, your aunts, your mom, your dad, whoever, and take them to go see this movie because, uh, you know, if it's financially successful, at the end of the day, that's really what matters uh, as far as getting further sequels. And, um, yeah, I, I think uh, as long as we support this movie, we'll probably be getting something else in the future from this franchise. And I got to tell you, folks, I don't want to go another 10, 11 years before I see another Scream film. Um, uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Like I said, it was a pretty big update. A lot of stuff has happened over the last two uh, days, really. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's your turn now. Let me know what your thoughts in the comment section down below. And remember, if you like this video, we're at the end now. You can make that judgment call. Leave me a like, subscribe, maybe even turn on notifications. Uh, or if you really like what I'm doing here at Bloody Breakdown, you can support this channel monetarily by becoming a member. Just simply click that join button um, and uh, you'll, you'll uh, learn something about the tiers and the perks that come with supporting this channel. So, with that said, I'm Bram for Bloody Breakdown. Let me know what you all think about this uh, big, huge scream update in the comment section down below. And we'll catch you all next time.